Want new crepes? Rip the sole from the top of the crappy old one she's made you wear for the last four months. Then, when you enter your graph, make sure you go in via the kitchen. The little flap, flap, flap is louder on Lino and gets her attention quicker. First thing she'll do is yell at you for not taking care of the stuff that she's worked and saved so hard for, blah, blah, blah. And then she'll start to chat shit about the quality of shoes today. It wasn't like that when I was a kid. Shoes last until you grow out of them. Yeah, mum, but they needed to back then. Running away from dinosaurs was tough enough. <laughs> Dino dab. <laughs> the name was Dusty. It would save up our wages when we could and we'd get the train down to London. We'd go to these little pubs that put on different songwriters. And there was one song that she heard. She, she heard it and turned to me. She looked me in the eyes and she was crying. She told me it was so earnest. And I fell in love. When we got home, I begged for extra hours in the mill. I saved up more than he ever had before and I bought an acoustic guitar. I learnt that song and went to her house to play it to her. She loved it. Father did not. <laughs> He's such a good boy, isn't he? Quiet as a mouse. <laughs> Never cries. Not now, not ever. I wonder what his first word would have been. Arthur, please. <laughs> no. No, it wouldn't have been Arthur. Maybe. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> what was I saying then? You were... Oh, some irrelevant, intangible bollocks. <laughs> My life or death trip to Morrison's was not... tangible, thank you very much. <sighs> Whatever. What's the matter with you then? You look like a hairy deflated balloon. I just don't want things to go back to how they were. How do you mean? I don't want to go back to the 12 hour day routine. I don't want to be screamed at and scrutinised by Karens in a minimum wage job only to contract a bloody virus that could affect you as much as the next patient that enters the wards. I want to stand on a stage, speak from the heart, entertain people with every fibre of my being. I want to make people laugh and cry. I want to help. I want to help people escape this shit storm of a situation before Boris drives it into the ground. You know, the only place in the world where I, I feel like I really belong. You know. Yeah. So, um, yeah. What we have to do is. What was I saying? So, go to work. But whatever you do, do not use public transport. Yeah, yeah, use your own car. And if you don't have one, <laughs> to show you where your money has been spent, I'll show you this graph. As you can see, total gobbledygook. I don't even understand it, but it looks very fancy and official. Therefore, we must have it. I leave you with this beacon of hopelessness. Stay alert. Control it. So I say, basically, use the parks, but stay the fuck away from trains.